All right, if you are watching this video, you should have completed this slide of the Nearpod already. Uh, this will um, be some information you need to know about how to move through this uh, as you kind of work through this investigation. Um, please follow the directions in the videos as they will tell you step by step exactly what you need to do to be successful in com uh, completing your data table. As you can see, once you've answered these questions, you would need to come up to me. I'll give you a cup, a drop of dish soap, a spoon, and a Dixie cup with some baking soda. So let's check that out. Okay, so here is the cup. It looks something similar to this. I'll give you one drop of dish soap, like so. I'll give you a spoon, and I will give you uh, a Dixie cup that has some, some baking soda in it. Uh, baking soda, what this will do is add carbon dioxide to the water that we're going to end up putting in this cup. You can take the baking soda and the spoon back to your lab table, set those down for the time being, then go to the water station and you're going to want to add some distilled water to this cup. When you get to the water station, you're going to see a, a tall graduated cylinder. As you can see, it goes up to 100 milliliters. And you're going to see some of these cups of water already. What you need to do is you need to pour 100 milliliters of this water into this graduated cylinder. I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to do that. And there I go. It's going to be hard to show you, but it is up to the 100 line. Now, this was the cup I poured it from. I'm going to put that back. And I'm going to add this water to the cup that I have with my drop of dish soap. I'm going to pour it in there. Now that I've added the distilled water to my cup with my dish soap, I'm going to take my cup. I'm going to go back to my lab table with my group. At your lab table with your group, you can then take your uh, baking soda, you can add that in. After that, you're done with this cup. And you can use the spoon that you've been provided, or fork or knife or whatever, and you want to stir the contents of this up. Make sure that it's stirred completely and thoroughly. You don't want to stir too rough because you, you really want to avoid um, the soap making bubbles that will kind of slow down your um, progress. You have to wait for the bubbles to kind of settle. It might take a few minutes to stir. Definitely make sure that there's no sediment on the bottom of your cup. You want to make sure that there's um, complete um, dissolve of that baking soda. So make sure you stir really well. And again, not very rough. There we go. Once you have this done, you are ready to head to the next slide.